Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be polishing a Lake Superior agate on my flat lap. I found this agate a while ago out on a hike in Duluth, Minnesota. It's an absolute beauty. Shows some great potential, but it's pretty beat up. Let me show you. Alrighty, so here's the agate that we're going to be polishing today. This is the side we will not be polishing. It's got some limonite stained bands right in the middle there. And like I said, it's pretty beat up. we got a lot of work to do on this side here. And as you can see, I took a pencil all the way around. That's where we're going to be taking it on the flat lap to grind down, trying to make a semi-flat surface. And then once we hit that line, we're going to be coming down around the edges to kind of give it a concave surface so it's not a complete flat face polish. And if you can see, right here below my finger, some bands going on there. So I'm really hoping that as we get through this, we expose a lot of bands. Let me show you what we're going to be polishing this on today. So here we have the flat lap from High Tech Diamond. I am going to be starting out with a 180 grit disc. It's going to really help us take this surface down so we can start exposing some beautiful bands. I also have the Pro Flow pump that gives me continuous water flow. I'm just rotating this knob here, it turns it on and off. It's obviously powered through AC, and all the water comes through this tube right here into my dump bucket. Here we have all the discs that we're going to be going through. Here's another 180 grit disc that I have, 325, 600, 1200, and 3000. Now we're going to get started on the 180 grit disc, my other one, the new one that I have that's on the flat lap already. Let's start grounding down that surface and seeing what kind of bands we can expose. Alrighty, so we've been working this for about 10 minutes. It's looking pretty good. A lot of amazing bands are being exposed here, but there are some pockets right here and right here that have some fractures, and this one is showing up as well. You can kind of see that lighter part. I'm gonna keep trying to grind down on this side to see if we can work them out a little bit, because I feel like it's not gonna take the best polish just because there's some inner fractures going on in there. But we'll just see how far down we can go. I want to at least get this middle part ground down so it's flat so it can take the best polish possible. <laughs> well, one of the things I was afraid of is that one of the fractures might go real deep and it blew out right here and if I go down much further on this, it's going to be really hard to hold. It's already really kind of flat and kind of difficult to hold. So I think what I'm going to do is just do some smoothing of this. We'll leave it there. And I think I might nickname this one the Heartbreaker because it's got that crack right down there. <laughs> but we'll still give it the best polish that we possibly can. It's just going to have some unique characteristics to it. So let's move on to the next stage. Before we move on to the next step, I just want to say too, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like today's video. If you do, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned for more rock hunting and lapidary videos, hit that subscribe button. I love bringing you guys with on all of our adventures. Five minutes. It's really, <laughs> it really is looking like a heart here. Not planned. That's funny. I'm definitely going to call this one the heartbreaker. <laughs> it's got some great bands that are coming in through here and right here. They're really going to pop as we get on through the stages. I am done with the 325. We're going to move on to the 600 grit disc. Before we do, one of the things I always do when I'm done and I turn the water off, I turn the flat lap all the way up to the highest speed possible. Let it run for about 30 seconds, 
hopefully get some as much of the moisture off of the disc as possible before we put it on the rack. As I get this 600 grit disc on here, I just want to say our YouTube channel just hit 15,000 subscribers. And I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you. You guys make this whole thing possible. And I'm really amazed that we've come this far in uh, under two years. Uh, you guys are really the lifeblood of the channel. Thank you so much for everything, you guys. Really appreciate it. So we made it through the 600 grit and she's looking pretty good. Got a nice mirror shine going on there so far. Trying to find the light in there. Yeah, let's put the 1200 disc on. So again, here's the mirror shine. Some of these fractures are pretty deep in there. I'm not going to worry too much about it since it's already got this huge gouge in the middle of the heart here. But it's looking pretty good. Should look pretty great after 1200 and 3000. on to the 3000 grit. The 1200 did wonders. You can see the light shining and that nice mirror finish on there. It's going to look really great after the 3000 grit. I also want to say if you guys are interested in this kind of lapidary equipment, check out my description box below. I'll have the affiliate link for High Tech Diamond where you can find this and all the accessories that I use. Use promo code AGATDAD. Put it right here. Get you 10% off. I always get asked in the comment section to how long it takes to polish these. For this one, looking at the clock, we are on the last stage, the 3000 grit disc, and I am not even an hour into the polish. It's doing great work. The longest stage is the first stage, just grinding this down to that nice concave face. It's doing a lot of work in a short amount of time. so here it is the finished product look at that mirror shine you can actually see me waving <laughs> in the reflection that looks really good I do gotta say living up to the name the heartbreaker I got all these fractures oh I told you at the beginning this thing is beat up this one is on a hiking and mountain biking trail oh you guys leave some absolutely amazing comments. Let me know what you think we should do, if there's anything else that we could do with this. It's got a fracture here, here, and here. These ones, I'm not too worried about, but maybe there's something we can do on this side. I just, I'm not too sure, because I wanna give this its fair shake. I want it to look as good as possible, and there's just, this is lighter, here, here, and here, because of the fractures. So maybe there's more to be done with this. You guys have been a lot of help in the comment section before. Let me know what you think. But the banding in this is absolutely beautiful. I love that swirl coming down in here, how it comes back around up in there. Absolutely beautiful. I really love this agate. So 
Let me know what you guys think about this heartbreaker. Maybe we can fix it. Well, that is everything we have for this video. I had an absolute blast polishing that Lake Superior Egg with you guys. Thank you so much for taking along. We'll see you next time. Bye.